Maureen wrote to me this week. If I was you, I'd listen to what Maureen has to say. I really would. I really would, because she writes, and she writes with a heavy heart. We have been treated disgustingly. Most of us women born in the 1950s will not be receiving our pension until we are 66, with no notification of this drastic change. We have worked for 45 years and have accrued more than enough to be paid our pension. People want what is rightfully theirs. Maureen asks, what can be done to help the WASPy women? Prime Minister. I say to uh, the issue that Maureen has raised is that the government has taken steps to help these uh, women. We have made, we have put extra, uh, there's extra funding means made available, and we've ensured that there is a limit to the period of time that uh, uh, is affected in relation to these changes. But if the right honourable gentleman wants to talk about pensions and pensioners looking to the future, then once again there will be a very clear choice at this election. A clear choice, a clear choice between a Labour Party who in government saw the increase in pension, basic state pension of 75 pence in one year, and a Conservative government whose changes to pensions, being basic state pensioners, are £1,250 better off. But you only get that with a strong economy. And what do we know about Labour? Only yesterday we saw that we had finally emerged from Labour's economic crash. What we now see, what we now see is a Labour Party that would do it again. Crash the economy, more debt, more waste, higher taxes, fewer jobs. That does nothing for ordinary working families or for pensioners. Mr Speaker, millions of WASPy women will have heard that answer, as have the other questions that I've put not been answered today. I simply say this. Labour will guarantee the triple lock. Labour will treat pensioners with respect, and we won't move the goalposts to people looking forward to retirement. 